Hi everyone, you're looking at a very dirty extractor plug on top of a hob. So we're going to clean this and this is a good hack to be able to do this job easily. First thing you do, take the bottom tray out of the dishwasher. It makes plenty of space. Okay, when you remove the bottom tray, you put in the and cover. You take out the filters, obviously, out the inside. Um, close up the dishwasher. Put your tablets in, your powder, and uh, switch it on. And away you go. Hi everyone. Easy way to open the banana. Top off there. Pinch it at the top. Okay. Voila, banana open, okay? Obviously, you have to check out the taste. Hmm. Double it. Hi everyone, today I'm going to get a banana. I'm going to show you how to open a banana. Easiest way. So you just, rather than the conventional way, this way, just go to the end, pinch it, okay? Pops open like that, just like that. Okay, obviously, you have to taste it. Take this piece off here and taste that. Mmm, good to go. Hi everyone, just finished a nice avocado. Went down very well. So what I've decided to do, and I've seen it online in a few places, is take the stone, put three cocktail sticks into the side of it, and put that on top of a glass with water, and I'm going to see if it actually does go. Because I say it does work, and I'm going to see if it does. So I'll let you know how to get on. Hi everyone, today's hack I'm just going to show you how to bring a toothpaste. Hi everyone, today's hack I'm showing it. Hi guys, today's hack I'm going to show you how to bring a toothbrush back to life. As you can see, this has seen better days and it's quite worn. So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to dip it into, not boiling water, but very hot water and stir it around for a couple of minutes. With some hot water out of the kettle, not boiling, it's cooled down in a small bit. I'm going to put the brush, the brush into the mug and stir around. Now I've been stirring for about 30 seconds. And I'll just show you what the bristles look like now as they come out. Almost as good as new. I think we can safely say that this is a good hack and it works well. Hi everyone, another good hack when you're making ice cubes. Just use water from a kettle, as in just recently boiled. So it's warm water and for some reason or other, which I'm not sure, why this actually freezes quicker than ordinary water at the tap does. So um, if you're, you brush your ice cubes, it's water from the kettle and uh, this should do the job. I'm going to put a timer in this now as well so I'll let you know how long it takes for them to be freeze, okay? Hi everyone, just going to come back now and see how we got on. I don't think we're going to need a full cycle. looking pretty good to me. Yeah, big improvement there. So we'll just take it out there now and we'll dry it off. Okay, possibly not perfect. But definitely a big improvement from what we started off with. So just pop this back up into the hood and we'll have a look at it when we're finished. Now around this is the finished. Hi around, just finished putting it back in position and as I'm sure you would agree, it's a big big improvement on what was up there beforehand. 
So uh, I think this is a good hack.